Hi everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a video on how to get ready quickly. This is the story of my life. I actually just woke up not too long ago and I slept in a bun, I slept in this t-shirt. So I just wanna show you guys a few things I do to get pulled together quickly. I've kind of mastered this whole lazy girl pull yourself together look. Actually, on a realistic day, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, so I try to keep it pretty minimal. So I'm gonna first start with my makeup. Please ignore the hair. I mean, the flyaway game is so strong today. I'm gonna take the new L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette. I love these because uh, it has just a lot of different options. I feel like every day my uh, blemishes color changes, so it's kind of nice to have a couple options and mix and match to customize to suit your skin tone. So I'm just gonna press that on the areas where I want some coverage. So I'm just gonna dab that in quickly and also do underneath my eye area. I'm not gonna do a full face tutorial when I do uh, try to get out the door quickly. I find that just takes way too darn long. I did already moisturize before sitting down on camera, so Yes, I did get a little head start. I don't have my glasses on and the camera. This looked like the perfect color. I'm looking down here. I could not be more off. Hold on to this palette because we're a slazy girls are gonna come back to it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna take one of my all-time favorite products from Sephora. This is the Tinted Self Tanning Body Mist. And anytime I wear this, I get a compliment on it. And everyone says I have a great tan. What beach did I come back from? And I lie, I say I came back from Miami. I love this and it works as foundation. It kind of gives like the best of both worlds and it still looks like skin. And I'm gonna close my mouth this part and spray forehead, cheek area, cheek area, chin. And depending on what I'm wearing, like if a strapless dress, I will go down here. But if I'm wearing a blouse or something, I'll keep it mostly on my face. So first it looks a little crazy. I wanna add a little bit more on my cheeks. <laughs> oh my god. Almost applying it where I would apply bronzer. So yes, this part looks crazy, but now I take a stippling brush and I just buff it in. And I like a stippling, stippling brush because it just buffs it out to look like a really natural tan. And you can even spray it directly on the brush if you prefer that method. I've tried that also, but I kind of just like this. This is just the ultimate lazy girl way to look bronze and it's gonna give a really nice glow like you can see right here look at that part of my forehead that is not natural and that is it for my skin that's all i do oh my god i am so distracted by this okay let's move on so now i'm gonna take glossier's boy brow and it's just a brow gel tinted brow gel and i love this for being in a rush because you put down color and shape the brow, both all in one. All Glossier products are really good about getting you out the door quickly and just really minimalist but put together. I love Glossier for that reason. So as you can see, this just really tames the brow. I should probably use this on my flyaways to help those little guys out. Next quick lazy girl step, take your bronzer. This is an amazing crease eyeshadow color and that's what I'm gonna do on a big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna hit this right in the crease it's gonna give a really just natural shadow. If you ever feel like you don't know what shadow to do, just take whatever bronzer shade you use. This one's a Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. Highly recommend this, you guys. It's amazing. Guys, just to give a little definition there, but I don't want to do a lot of color. I'm not doing anything crazy. I just want like a really natural shadow there. And then I am taking my Kevin Aquan Eyelash Curler. I cannot live without this. I'm gonna give my eyelashes a good pump. And I especially need to do this on these days where I want to get out the door because since I'm not doing a really extravagant eye makeup look by any means, I do want my lashes to at least be opened up and this makes a huge difference. I highly recommend this if you have straight lashes. It makes a huge difference before mascara. Now I'm going to take Maybelline's Big Shot Mascara, which I've been enjoying, and I'm going to give my lashes a couple of coats. I like it to look really separated and lengthened, especially when I'm doing a more minimalist look. So I think what really makes the makeup when you're trying to get out the door is your lip color and so I feel like to distract everything else I go for the red. I choose a red that's really flattering for me. I'm going to start with the red lip liner. This is the Kylie lip liner in Mary Jo K. The Cupid's bow I just did an X at the top. 
gonna connect out to the corners. I filled in my lip with that too, but what I'm gonna do is actually go in with my favorite red lipstick. This is a matte, so it's really long wearing as well. This is Max Ruby Woo. You guys all know this, I'm sure. Fill this in the center of my lip. Oh, that guy messed up his parallel parking. No, you're hitting the curb. So then that concealer palette you take again, the little brush. Just gonna wanna chisel that out. This like works every time. Like look how nice and crisp that looks when you apply a concealer. It's like foolproof. So that is the makeup. Now I've been dying to move on to hair, so I'm gonna take this down. And what I like to do is put my hair into a center part. I feel like just taming these flyaways is key. And you can use a comb to do this, probably a little better. I'm just gonna use my fingernail. I wanna have a clean toothbrush and use this to brush down all the hairs to keep them nice and smooth. And then you're gonna wanna have some hairspray on hand, which I do. I like to do a low bun once I feel like it's in a good place. So I twist the bottom and just do a spiral bun, a little donut bun, and then tie it twice or as many times until you feel secure. I do want it to be somewhat tight. And what I do is spray the top area. Go back in with that toothbrush and just comb everything down. Now that it has hairspray, it's really gonna start looking really smooth. It's gonna give it a little shine with that hairspray. And no flyaways this time. Now the hair is nice and pulled back. It looks like you spent more time on it than you actually did. Then now I'm gonna apply some earrings, apply some earrings. I'm gonna put on some earrings and I'm just using these from Nordstrom. They're just little clip-on statement cuffs. This definitely just helps elevate the look a little bit. Just push these bad boys on. And as a fashion piece, I chose a tailored blouse that's really fitted and going to show off my figure. I find that that makes you look put together rather than wearing kind of a dress that's a little more frumpy. And I usually do prefer the baggy t-shirts, don't get me wrong, but that's usually at 8 p.m. when I'm watching Real Housewives. But if I wanna look put together and presentable, I like something that is form fitting and but not overly tight so this is a blouse I recently got from and other stories that I'm gonna pop on and show you guys it's amazing what a blouse can do I really do feel like I'm channeling the hundred second Dalmatian right now and last but not least my favorite way to look put together if you don't have time to do your nails which who has time to sit and watch them dry? It's literally watching paint dry. I love press on nails. This is one of my favorite colors. This is just the nude kind from Impress Nails. And I actually wore these when I got proposed to and they look pretty awesome. Everyone said my manicure was on point, but it was one of those situations where I didn't have time to get my nails done, so I just popped these on. So all you do is use the little alcohol pad in here and wipe them on all your nails. And then you wanna make sure you measure each nail to figure out which one suits each one. So I'm gonna pop these on right now and I'll come right back. And I just wanted to mention that these nails, this is not sponsored by them, I actually just really like them. These nails last two to three weeks. I don't even get gel mani anymore because these do just as good of a job. So there you have it guys, that is my quick out the door, look put together in a short amount of time, lazy girl way. What should I call this video? It's gonna be a really hard title. Just these little tricks really help me feel put together when I leave and it just doesn't take that long of a time. You wanna live your life, you wanna sleep in, you have kids, whatever it is. These are just really easy ways to feel put together. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for joining me here as always. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, bye.